In today's video, I'm reviewing a 2008 Subaru Impreza WRX. The WRX is a sport-focused variant of Subaru's popular Impreza model, and this 2008 is part of the third generation that was produced from 2007 to 2014. The Impreza comes with standard all-wheel drive and is available in either this four-door sedan option or a five-door hatchback wagon. Comparing the WRX to its Impreza counterpart, they look very similar from an exterior styling standpoint. However, the WRX is a much more advanced vehicle. It's got a higher output engine, firmer suspension, larger brakes, lowered ride height, larger intakes, and re-sculpted body paneling. Up front, the wheel track increases by 1.3 inches, and in the rear, it increases by 1.5 inches. And while they do look similar from a styling standpoint, there are a number of things that do separate the WRX. you notice the large hood scoop, the webbed front grille, and then revised body paneling along the sides. Most noticeable is this body paneling along the bottom. Which wraps around to the rear of the vehicle. I've also got a larger, nicer set of wheels. And a rear spoiler. Overall, it comes together as a very nice looking vehicle. Pretty conservative in terms of the overall styling, with just a few subtle changes with that WRX designation. Makes it a great vehicle that you can use for all situations. Subaru also has a WRX STI model, which is a further enhanced performance version of the WRX. But the WRX is a pretty nice balance between the base Impreza and the STI. One interesting fact about this generation of the WRX is that it was produced from 2007 to 2014, but Subaru came out with an all new Impreza in 2011. So for several years there, Subaru was making the WRX on an older platform. I mentioned earlier that the WRX is available in either a sedan or wagon configuration. The wagon seems to be the more popular option with the WRX, but they're both nice in different ways. I particularly like the red on this WRX. I think it really pops and helps the vehicle to kind of stand out a little bit more as a sports car when compared with the base Impreza. Jumping into the interior of the WRX, you'll see that it's very basic inside. Looks very similar to the Impreza model. In a lot of ways, this is really a high point of the WRX because it's a vehicle that really focuses its efforts on the powertrain. So you get a very powerful four-cylinder turbo, you get all-wheel drive, and then on the interior, it's very basic and simple. Helps keep that initial price down, makes it a very affordable sports car. You will notice a little bit of wear throughout the vehicle. Subarus tend to have cheaper quality materials on their interiors, um, but they tend to be very reliable from a mechanical standpoint. So it's kind of the trade-off that you make. That helps them to keep their prices down. You've got power windows and door locks, manual seats. You'll see that they've got a sporty profile to really keep you snug when you're going around corners. Power mirrors, steering wheel has controls for audio and cruise control. Nice basic instrument cluster. In the middle, this vehicle does have a large navigation screen. Control audio through that as well. Heat and air conditioning. Manual transmission, only option on the WRX. Cup holders. Heated seats for a driver and front passenger. And then we got a center console here. Mirror has settings to program up to three garage door openers. Auto demming with a compass. And that's about it. A pretty basic interior with the WRX. 
jump into that back seat. One great thing about the WX is despite the fact that it's a small vehicle, this rear seat is actually very spacious. It's got a lot of leg room, makes it very functional for rear passengers or for a car seat. Got a center folding armrest here. And the seats can fold down if you need to increase cargo capacity. Got that 60-40 split. Coming around to the back again, you'll see the WX is very practical when it comes to cargo capacity. Nice large trunk here. So not only can you drive quick, but you can use the WX for your everyday needs. The WX has a four cylinder boxer turbo with 265 horsepower and 244 pound feet of torque. That would take you to 60 miles an hour in a very quick five seconds flat. EPA rating is 19 miles per gallon in the city and 25 miles per gallon on the highway, but the WX does require premium fuel. WX comes with a standard six-speed manual transmission in an era where many sports cars are coming with automatic transmissions. This is the only transmission option as it should be. So my wife and I actually used to own a Subaru Impreza and while it was a really great vehicle overall, there were two complaints that we had. The first one was that the audio system wasn't very good and that issue isn't really fixed in the WX, but the second issue is that it felt very underpowered, not a lot of fun to drive, and in the WX, that issue is solved. See that the very vehicle is very quick, a lot of fun to drive. With that four cylinder turbo, it's got more than enough power really gives you a fun driving experience. Um, to me, the biggest issue with the Impreza is the fact that it's no fun to drive, it feels very underpowered, and with the WX, that issue is solved. Now I do have to say that the WX is a pretty basic vehicle beyond that. As we saw when we were showing you the interior, it's very simple, not a lot of features and options, not a lot of luxury. Uh, it's a pretty loud vehicle. You get a lot of road noise, you get a lot of wind noise, and it just feels like a very basic vehicle, which it is because it's based off of the Impreza. And the nice thing about that is that that means you're saving a lot of money on that initial price. Subaru is focusing the money on the powertrain, and so it's a really great vehicle for the motoring enthusiast enthusiast that really cares about that, that may not care about all those additional features and functions, but once a vehicle, it's a lot of fun to drive, and the WX accomplishes that very well. Now, one of the things that makes Subarus really popular and kind of stand out within the marketplace is that with the exception of the BRZ, they come standard with Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive system, makes them a very popular vehicle in northern climates that see inclement weather. And the great thing with the WX is that you're able to get a vehicle that's very sporty, very fun to drive, a great vehicle for summer weather, but also very capable in snow and ice and other inclement weather. Um, and it's a really great system. Uh, handles incredibly well and um, in addition to being very capable in snow and ice conditions it's also a really great system for driving um, on corners in dry pavement helps the vehicle to really hug the road it's got incredible traction through the corners now we'll go ahead and give you a chance to hear the vehicle open up under a little pressure really hear that turbo kicking in ton of fun to drive more than enough speed. Really sounds great. So that's a review of the 2008 Subaru Impreza WRX. Overall, a really fun, great car that fills a niche within the market. While it does have a very basic interior, not a lot of features and options, not especially comfortable, pretty bad audio system, it's still a really great car in a lot of ways. Really good option for somebody that wants a vehicle that does it all. It's very quick and fun to drive. It's very economical, great in inclement weather. And so it kind of does it all in that sense. And then it's also a really good option for somebody that wants a sports car and doesn't want to spend a lot of money. Uh, you get Subaru's reliability, comes in at a very reasonable price, and it feels like a sports car. It's very quick, it's very agile, and a really great overall vehicle. If you have any comments or questions on the WRX, leave them in the section below. For more car reviews, subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, thanks for watching.